Ron, I'm hoping you can give me a status update on the Valve World America's 2013 show. Oh, that's fairly easy. We have had the steering committee meeting. We came up with quite a number of workshops. We've had uh, quite a number of keynote speakers who've, um, who've come through, so we're well on our way. And what are some of the hot topics you're seeing in the industry right now? Well, one is just the general issue of bringing new people into the business, people who have had a role in the business before, but there have been all these, for want of a better term, old guys who have been in the business forever, and sooner or later they're going to be retiring, and the new generation needs to come in. So our one of our goals is to help them along in this process. And you think the Valve World America show is a good platform to help these uh, younger up-and-coming engineers along? Oh yes, it's a brilliant one because you have all this opportunity for interfacing between people. You have the workshops proper with all of the technical presentations and you just have the opportunities to meet people and exchange ideas and just get to, to know people better. That's one of the real advantages of Valve World. Now, Ron, you mentioned some of the old guys possibly retiring. Um, with all respect, what about your good self? Do you have any plans? Oh, absolutely. I'm good for another two years. But as they say, I plan to retire but not leave because there's so much opportunity for skilled people that I can see myself continuing to work with the same clients that I've worked with and the same manufacturers, the same engineers, so I see a really great future for this. So there's a valves in your blood? Uh, yeah, you would say that.